Hi, my name is Dave DeLauder, and I'm the NICU PEDS specialist here at Frederick Memorial Hospital. And I want to talk to you today for a couple of minutes about two new pieces of equipment that you're going to be seeing in the NICU and in the emergency room. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is this new resuscitator bag that we're going to be using. Now you're probably sitting there asking yourself, why in the world do you have to show me a resuscitator bag? I've used these things for years, I know all about them, blah blah, yada yada. And I know, it's a new thing, but it's an old thing, but it's a new thing. And the reason I want to show you, there's, there's a couple things that I want to point out to you that are very important that we need to know. The first and the most important thing that I need you to know is this little orange cap right here. What this is, this is a pop-off valve and this little orange cap is a cover for the pop-off valve. Now when we're using this particular device you need to make sure that this pop-off valve is open. That way it doesn't cause any trauma to the baby. With this pop-off valve open it releases at 35 to 40 centimeters of water pressure and it doesn't cause an over distension or over pressure inside of the baby's lungs. So first and foremost and the most important thing I need you to remember about this bag is to make sure that this orange flap is hanging free and it's not covering the pop-off valve. Now there may be an instance that you need to cover it for a few moments, probably not. Maybe the first breath or something if you're first resuscitating the baby, but for the most part you're never going to need this thing. I want it to be hanging free and I want it to be open all of the time. So that's number one. Number two, the pressure manometer is now right here at the, ba at the interface between the baby and you. So instead of craning your neck, looking around all of the different places that we try to stick the pressure manometers to make sure we're giving the baby the right pressure, we now have it right at the baby's face so when we're looking down we can see what pressure we're delivering to the baby which is very interesting and very good. We also, uh, that's, that's one of the biggest reasons we went to this type of bag because we were having difficulty being able to see and be able, able to adequately document what we're giving the baby. Now we have it right here and it's color coded nice and pretty green, yellow and red so that you can make sure that all your pressures are right and you can see exactly what you're delivering to the baby. The third thing, number three, the attachment for the peep valve is just a little bit different. With the older bags, when you took the peep valve out of the uh, package, this thing you got rid of because it fed on with this. Well, with this particular device, you want to keep that in one piece because this one fits, the adapter fits on top of it like so. So you don't want to throw away this white piece, white adapter because it's going to stick on top of the bag and that's the thing that makes it fit. So you need to keep that. So, number one, most important, keep this open at all times. Number two, our pressure manometer is here. Number three, the peep valve is just a little bit different because we have to use the white adapter, but it still does fit and it's right there on top of the thing. Now the fourth thing I want to tell you about, and it'll only take a few more moments, it's, this is called the soft spot resuscitator. What the soft spot is, as you can see on this side and on this side, there's a little place where we're going to be holding the bag and it's softer than the rest of the bag. And what that is for and the reason that they put this in here is so that we can feel the compliance of the baby's lungs. This will be particularly helpful when we're delivering surfactant or if there's any kind of a pressure change in the compliance because we may need to lessen or increase the pressure that we're delivering to the baby while we're resuscitating them or while we're bagging them. And that is so you can feel the compliance of the lungs a little bit easier when you're using it. One more thing, you want to use at least 10 to 15 liters of flow with this particular bag. That way you can get to sufficient pressures and sufficient delivery to the, the, uh, the baby. It's a nice tubing, it's, a, it's very nice, the end of it is a fits all so it screws right up or pushes right up onto the end of the flow meter. So it's very nice, it's very convenient. This bag does not come off, but you can still use it. It'll deliver 21%, it'll deliver whatever percentage you have it up, hooked up to with the uh, blenders and the analyzers that we're presently using. And that's about all there is for this. Now, you're going to be seeing this in the NICU, in the labor and delivery, and in both the PGD and the adult ED, or the main, the main ED. So for you ED nurses that are out there right now, you don't have to watch the rest of this video because we're going to go to a new device that we're going to be strictly using in labor and delivery in NICU. So you can shut me off or shut the video off, or you can watch it just for informational sake and just for the fun of it, and it'll take a few extra minutes to just sit down and relax. Now, I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes about a new device called the Neo-T Resuscitator. 
This is in lieu of the Neopuff. You can use it with a Neopuff, but we don't necessarily have to because the circuit is detachable and we can use it for that. But this is a lot more convenient. It's a single patient use disposable item that we can hook to any flow meter that we have in the hospital. Now, I am using a wall flow meter, but I want you to remember whenever we're dealing with the, the infants, we want to always use this attached to a flow meter that is attached to a blender so that we can deliver a specific FiO2 to the baby. And it's real simple to use. This will only take a few moments, but I want to make sure everybody gets it. It's just got a screw one cap that screws to the flow meter. The NEO-T says 5 to 15 liters, but what we're going to do is we're going to use at least 10. We want to use a minimum of at least 10. So we're going to turn our flow meter to 10 liters per minute. This has a little bit of a pop-off, so if the pressure is high, you may hear a little bit of a squeal. Hopefully we don't have that while we're doing the video, but you may occasionally hear a little bit of a squeal from this because of the different pressures that you're giving by including it. This operates the same way as the Neopuff in that you take your finger and your thumb and you occlude the T-piece of the Neo-T. Now the difference is, what I want you to see, this is our manometer. So what you're going to do, you're going to turn back here, and again we've got green, yellow, and red, standing for the lower pressures, the medium pressures, and the higher pressures, on the controller and on the manometer itself. What you want to do is you take your Mono or your controller watching your manometer and you adjust to whatever pressure you desire. So if we want 20, which I'm going to set this at 20, you hear that little bit of a pop-off coming because of the flow. I'm going to adjust this to 20 over 5. So you adjust it to 20 with your controller. Then the same as the Neopuff, this is a little tricky. My fingers don't always get exactly the way it is, but you want to take and you adjust your peep in the same way. Your blue cap is your peep and you adjust it up or down as needed for the flow. So we're going to adjust it to 5. So now we have 20 over 5. We attach our mask and we're set and we're ready to go and we're delivering the set pressures to the baby. Same as we would with, would with the Neopuff. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now. One thing I want you to remember, the approximate peep value with 5 liters is 2. We're not going to use 5 liters. 8 liters is 6. We're not going to use 8 liters. We want to use at least 10 liters. That will give us up to 9 centimeters of peep. And if we would go to 15 liters per minute, I'm going to shut this off so you can hear me a little bit better. If we do go to 15 liters per minute, that gives us around 15 centimeters of, a, of uh, peep if we would need that high. Hopefully, we're not going to need all of that pressure. But what we're going to start out with to see and make sure that it works properly, we're going to start out with a minimum of 10. We're going to set it again, including this and this. You adjust it back at the controller, watching your manometer, which is right here. Again, you're right there where you're at the baby. You can watch the manometer as you're delivering the breaths. And when you're ready, it's the same as the Neopuff. You just cover the hole and you give the breath and it gives the pressure and you're watching your pressure right here at that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you for your time. We're going to be seeing these around. These will be at each bedside. They'll be on each transport. I am fixing the transports. By the time this video is out, the transports will be adapted with the analyzers. They'll have pulse oxes. We'll be ready and up for NRP standards that uh, they're, uh, are coming into effect January 1st. So thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. If you have any questions at all, ever, please don't hesitate to call me. My number is 4610. If I don't answer the phone right away, leave a message and I will get back to you. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.